I had a question about namespaces. So in this quick tip, we're going to be looking at namespaces. I'm going to do that by way of an example. So I'm going to do toolbox. I'm going to double click on price series provider. I'm going to click on that name in the component tray and I'm going to go to properties. I'm going to make a few changes here. So I'm going to make it PSP. I'm going to make it for the current symbol. I'm going to change the range to 100 bars and we're going to change it to exchange time and we're going to load the PSP. Having done that we can now go to the design generated code and we can copy this. into our program and then we just need to tidy that up. Now we, we, uh, we're we not allowed or we shouldn't use the initialized components. What I'm going to do is change that into a once statement and then just take away some of the other comments here that we don't actually need. So we can see what's going on. I'm going to make sure this thing loads. So I'm going to say uh, value 99 uh, equals psp.count like so. And then the object of the program is just to plot the value of the close. The PSP close that is. And let's verify that. And you'll see we get an error. Now the reason for that is we still have the PSP in the component tray. So I'm just going to delete that. Going to verify it again. Okay, not supposed to be doing close one bar ago. I want the close of this bar. Okay, and then we go to the program and because we had an error, we need to go back and we need to switch that back to on like so, and there you'll see we have the lines. But what we could do to make this a lot more easy to read and to understand is we could use namespaces. So we do that by saying using, then we put in the name of a namespace. Now I can just see straight away that the namespace here is tsdata.marketdata. So I can just remove that, put it in here, with uh, following by followed by a semicolon and that now means that I can go through and strip out everywhere where we've got this same TS data dot market data. So things start to look easy to read. I could also take this namespace here and also put in that like so and having done that if we just verify again you'll see that we get on the chart exactly the same thing because the program's now doing exactly the same thing only it's looking a lot more simple and easy to read now just say that you didn't recognize that they were namespaces and you're not sure what the namespace is. Well, what you can do is go to the dictionary and just say, for example, you wanted to know, say the vector. So I'm just going to put in here, vector. Which namespace does vector belong to? Because I'm going to use vectors in my program. So put in vector and then we could just go down the list and we can see that we have here elsystem.collections.vector. So the namespace is elsystem.collections and in the same way we could have put in a price series provider and you'll see here that it tells us tsdata.marketdata precedes price series provider so we know the name of the namespace. Anyway uh, hopefully this will be helpful. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.